Oh, I was going to say Summonable Smash Out, but I assume it's just tougher DSS because all of them are small. And doing landing nares is harder than it is on tall characters. Getting Pikmin off you probably isn't the easiest because a lot of your hitboxes go farther away from your body. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, see, here's the thing. I haven't seen much of Zero Suit Samus and Olimar. Olimar is probably top five. <laughs> really? If not, at least like at least top ten. Most most people agree. Um, and ZSS, especially if you camp with her, has like very good potential for like top ten, top fifteen. Um, I know uh, one of the best CSSs in Canada, King Chris, thinks she's top ten if you camp. <laughs> oh my so, goodness. but then that can happen because Olimar is very strong. Go free lean, free lean. Honestly, boys, get the free leans in chat. Ooh, armor's through. Wait, Downby has armor? Yeah, it's had it since Brawl. I actually did not know that. Yep. My goodness. It's uh, it's had it since Brawl. Oh, tries no, to call out bro. the jump recovery. Goes for Tether. Into a flip Oh, kick. Arno, Arno, where are you? I miss you. Oh, that almost killed. <laughs> nice, good catch. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he tried, yeah, he tried, he doubled whistle to try to get the armor hit through both. And he just oh. waited and said, nah, screw you, dude. Um, Either I that or um, I guess Uppy has enough uh, attack power. Well, no, it, it's it has um, it wasn't that. It's just that he timed it well, so he didn't get hit through miss. Uh, oh, through the whistle. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see a bit more up smash, I think, from Sice because it's a multi-hit, so it can go through whistle, and it also kill Pikmin. Oh. Um, if it's on you, for the most part, but I don't know. It's like he's brought this back. He was down pretty decently far. I want to cuddle him here. I mean, not Omir. Oh, uh, he, he, tried, no. he tried to edge guard him. <gasps> no. Ooh. No now Pikmin. Now he has no Pikmin. What's he going to do? Up tilt. I respect it. And he's, oh, he has oh, a, he has a good lineup. He has a really nice lineup. White uh, Pikmin into blue into purple. Yeah. Purple and usually, I I think what a lot of uh, Olimar's like is two purples and a white. Very nice. Yeah, that move, uh, so side B is cool now because it, it actually kind of kills kind of like Brawl, but you can also do a different uh, variation of it where it'll suck you in and, and be like a pseudo combo, almost like a Raptor Boost looking thing. Really? Yeah. It's not like, like Raptor Boost uh, in the way that you use it, but like it's, um, it like com it like puts you above you like Raptor Boost would kind of. Ooh, just raw it. R runs into it. All good. I'll Arno, I love you, buddy. Feel better, bro. He's stuck. Oh, 44. But he just needs a little bit of momentum to gain yep. it all back. Tries to read either roll in or air dodge in or something. Doesn't get it. I think uh, part of the of the mentality when fighting against Olimar is that if if he gets a Pikmin on you, like one Pikmin, uh, they probably were like, ah, who cares? It's just one Pikmin. But what they don't realize is that's additional damage that's being oh, racked no. on for free. Oh no! So I uh, yeah, exactly. Plus, like the more you get on, right? And like, especially if you don't hit it off, because like Sice isn't really been trying to hit it off. Now, what Sandman did there is he up smash shield and then jabbed him, and Sice dropped shield and got hit by jab. So if, if Sandman realizes that he's been dropping shield on up smash, which is virtually unpunishable, um, even on parry with some characters, then he could just get up smash, up smash, and just kill him. That's it. Oh, that's a purple Pikmin. That's gonna hurt. All right, good to see you again. Thank you very much for commentating with me. Good. Um, yeah, everything's just uh, just average, thank you. Oh. Um, I saw your match. Don't I th worry about it. Don't I, worry about it. I totally thought when, when you uh, when it was um, when it was on Lilat, you you dropped a C4. I thought it was on the plat uh, on the main stage. No, it was actually on the platform itself. And I'm nah, like, nah. now I feel like a dumb player. <laughs> nah, dude. Anyway, so um, all, all it was was the side B off stage and true combo. Don't worry about it. All right. Anyway. So um, how do you feel about this? Oh, this? Ooh. This, this this is pretty fun. Like, we, we've we known Sandman trying to find his character a while, but he's been practicing on his Olimar a little bit, and obviously he, he had to pay off in game number one. Uh, but now we're looking at Sice, who's playing CSS, and I, I just haven't seen this matchup much. Uh, but, uh, you know, definitely fun to watch, uh, especially with these oh, two. Oh, okay. Thank you, HQ. I have to go. Thank you for commenting with for me for it, a short time. 
So we're sitting at pretty high percents here. And Sam and recovering on the jump kick missing, and he will get punished with the F-Smash coming in from Sandman. And now both sitting at over 100% purple Pikmin. Able to take it, and that first stock once again going over to Sandman. And he's one stock closer to taking this winner's bracket set against Sice. Oh, but that spike does come through, but what a tech coming in from Sandman. Able to DI into the stage, and instead of getting spiked, he just makes it back into the middle and is able to rack on some extra percent. Off air. Catches the landing once again. And the F Smash will do it. And that is a quick second stock coming in from Sandman. Sice has a long way to come back. And taking this extra percent here, and he's going to do it. And that is so unfortunate. Sice losing his third stock right away. And an early upset in bracket. Some might not say 